That's right. Those Alex Hormozzi captions. You've probably seen them out there and you're thinking, man, I want those too, either for yourself or for your clients, but you just don't know how to do it. And when you find tutorials, they're mainly showing you how to type them manually, but it's so tedious if you have like long text, even if you just have short text, but if you're doing a lot of them, it becomes tedious. So today I'm going to show you how to do Alex Hormozzi captions very fast with Premiere Pro's 2023 updates. Even Finzar doesn't know this. If he does, he needs to make a video about it, but don't worry, I'm here. I got you. All right, so once you're in Premiere, you wanna import your footage if you haven't already. I like to start with opening a new sequence and I already created my sequence like for Instagram Reels. If you don't, what you can do as well is you come to your footage and you right click on it and you just do new sequence from clip and like this is gonna open a brand new sequence based on your clip and how you trim it. You come here to sequence, sequence settings and you just do an Instagram Reel type of dimensions, bam and you say yes and that it goes and it crops your footage okay so let's close that so let's just bring my footage from scratch all right next you want to come into your windows up here and make sure that the text box is selected so you're going to go to your transcript you're going to transcribe your sequence you probably already do this but i'm going to show you something that is a game changer all right bam you have your footage transcribed one thing i like to do about my captions just to make everything much smoother i like to remove these commas to me they're just distracting like any punctuation unless it's a question mark it's just very distracting to me so I'll leave it like that and I'll hit create captions now I drop down this and this is where it starts reduce the maximum amount of length per character so like this you only give me like single words I don't like to have it in two lines so I click on single right here and I do wham create captions and as you see most of the captions they are single worded you don't need to retype this Premiere Pro already does this for you this might be tedious for you for me I don't mind so what I do next but I like to come to my very first caption and that's where I do my edits for Alex or Mosey you're looking for Montserrat black telefonta he has i put everything in caps i give it a little bit of a size to it you want to stroke it black and you want to give a little bit of depth in there to make it even pop even more of the screen let me see i like it around 11 is good all right i come right here to these settings and i just put my stroke a little bit offside and i soften it with a little bit of a shadow okay and then i come here to create my style some people don't like to create styles over and over and over i don't mind once you create the style it pretty much applies it to the rest of your footage so this is what it looks like there you have it so next thing i do i come here select my first one i zoom out a lot and i just place my mouse at random places because i want it to be a little bit more sporadic and i add some color to my text okay so now we're looking like this okay everything so far so good it might be normal for you but this is where it kicks in so on premiere 2023 what you can do is you could add a track okay you could do that on the other one too but i create a track and i duplicate this just to have a backup and with this one selected this is where is the new feature you come up here and you go to graphics and titles and you upgrade captions to graphics because on regular captions you cannot add any animations you cannot if you come to effect controls you can't just add any timer map nothing so you need to convert that into a regular graphic which now of course you see all these options and you can add a bunch of stuff to it so this is where i select view just to make it interesting give it a little bit of space so you can read them bring them down with them selected this is when you go to your effects and you pull out them fins or effects you can make those from scratch using the transform but with fins are it's a free pack it's pretty cool but i can teach you how to make that bam you drag that and this is it what it looks like when it comes like. to choosing the right mic for your youtube videos i think it's very important to understand pretty cool you don't have to type any of these premiere pro will auto caption for you the missing feature was that you could convert your captions into regular graphics so you can apply effect so these are the these are what the fins are effects uh i can add another one and just to add more change we're just gonna select another of fins effects and boom now it's a little bit more dynamic 
happening okay so what you could do next is i add like swooshes that's what i do usually add swooshes on my uh boards that like have transitions and then on your essential graphics if you want let me know i can put a link in the description below where i use my emojis from you find some emoji packs that you can pretty much just you know grab it into your videos and you will look exactly what you see on social media and because these emojis are graphics you can add the fins or effects as well i will move this here this there maybe add a track here move this guy to the bottom so it's on the bottom of my text Put a little bit smaller just because on instagram there's someone uh sometimes there's text over there i rotate it a little bit and i add some pop and if we play this is how it looks all right bam and like this is just made alex or mosey style captions this is it it's pretty cool so a lot that you can do with this if you guys want me to teach you how to make these pop-in transitions um from scratch let me know but if not thank you for watching this video hope you like and please subscribe so the algorithm can share some love and see you on the next tutorial